Hey everybody, Kathy here with Paint Pointing by Kathleen Miller. Uh, as you can see, there's something different about me today. I have my hair pulled back. So guess what that means? I'm going to be blowing with a lot of my hot air because I am doing my bloom series with my colored bases. Um, however, my bloom is going to be a little bit different from a regular bloom. I will put, I have my cerulean blue base down. I'm going to layer my colors just like a bloom. I'm going to blow it out, but I'm going to wreck it and I'm going to spin it. So that's my new technique for my series of all my different colors. And my colors I'm using today are Vavoom Red, which is Color Art Primary Element Pigments, Sunburst, Color Art Primary Element Pigments, Plumeria, Color Art Primary um, Element Pigments, Peacock Feathers Primary Element. And this is a new uh, paint that I'm trying out for the first time. It's Rust-Oleum Metallic Gold. Oh, well, that's cool. So that's, that's a brand new one. And uh, like I said, it's Cerulean Blue, which I just put in my white base. My base is just my white house paint. No silicone, no glue, no water. My pigments and my paints are made up of 15 mLs of Vivid Enamel, 15 mLs of Rust-Oleum Triple X. A little spoonful of the pigment goes in it. A little pea size of the paint goes in if you're using paint. That's it. There is no silicone. There is no water. There is no glue in my recipe. So, and something else that's new, I am using the Prussian Blue Cell Activator today. Oh. In my cell activator, it's only Floetrol and the Prussian Blue Amsterdam paint. That's it. And Kathy's recipes that she's talking about are in video 248, and I will have a link directly to that recipe video uh, in the upper right-hand corner, um, and also a link in the description box. And um, when I get comments, when I get messages, I always answer, and I try to help every single person learn. If you have a question, ask me, because I will answer you. Well, that's a pretty color. Wow. This is the Baboom Red Pigment. Ah, I didn't want to drip that. And if you notice, my puppy pool is clean. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is. Phil, you didn't even notice. This is, is, a, this is the inaugural pour on your clean puppy pool. Yeah, well, that's not going to stay clean too often, too long, is it? Now, Kathy did do another colored base series in her drizzle, swipe, rack, and spin technique. And there are seven different videos in there, every base of a different color. So check out that playlist. It's called the Colored Base Playlist. And th this one, I'm going to start a playlist, and it's going to be the Colored Base Bloom Playlist. Oh, there's a bugger in here. See that bug flying around? No, he won't. He won't eat too much. Well, he's gonna bug me. Ha! There's a bug in here. He's gonna bug me. Well, guess what? He's dead now. Which is a good thing. Poor thing. <laughs> and uh, here today in Arizona, we're supposed to hit a record for heat. It's supposed to be 117. Oh, I can't wait to go outside. Oh, brother. That is Peacock Feathers, and last is this Rust-Oleum uh, Metallic Gold. So we'll see how that's going to look. Yeah, that's, it's always fun to try something new. Mm -hmm. And I haven't done a bloom in so long, blowing with all my hot air. This ought to be interesting. <laughs> Hope I still have enough oxygen to do it, Phil. I'm if not, you can take over. I'm confident you will. You can take over because you have a lot of hot I've air. I've never been at a loss for words or hot air. <laughs> hot air. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, isn't that the truth? Oh, my, oh, my, oh, my. Okay, so this is your uh, colored cell activator. Correct. And you're, what are you trying to get? A little spoon? Oh, yeah. Okay. I got it. And what color is the cell activator? Prussian blue. Again? Prussian blue. Pr okay, Prussian blue. That's a nice deep blue to go with the light blue, cerulean blue base. We'll see how this goes. Okay, people. Here we go. You ready? I'm ready. I still got hot air, Phil. <laughs> and what you're doing is simply blowing the cell activator over the paint. Is that correct? Yes, it is, Phil. Wait a minute. You can't talk while you're blowing? Yes, I can. <laughs> That's one way to keep you quiet. Oh, you're real <laughs> funny, aren't you? Now, where's my little straw? You're gonna center that at all or no? Okay. Well. I wanna get the right end okay, here. Yeah. This is a different one. Now what I'm doing with this, I am just making more cells. That's why I'm doing it in short little bursts. bursts. I, um, well, if I, I'm going to have to pick this up if I want to center it. Well, you don't have to center it. Well, I'll just I center it, it a little. Be, yeah, I think it would be advantageous to get right. it centered, yes. Okay, Especially that's the, good. Okay. I think that's good. It shouldn't fly off anyways. Do you have to bring a little more down towards me at all or no? Mm. I wasn't going wow. to, only because when I wreck it. Okay, no, no, we're good. Just asking. So, let's see what happens here. So basically in this series, you're making a, a nice bloom and then you're wrecking it. Well, yeah, that's you, just my idea. Right, and then you're going to spin it. So this right. series um, will be done like that technique, along with colored base on every one of them, a different colored base, and then probably a complementary cell activator. Correct. Okay. Now, I mean, you can leave it like this if you don't want to spin it. Um, I am well, doing the wreck yeah. and the spin, but you need to get some paint off. So if you don't want to spin it, you can tip it. Good. I'm going to spin it. And hopefully by picking it up, it doesn't fly off at you, Phil. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Oh, look at my poppy pool. Oh, oh is that pretty? Oh, that's yeah. really pretty. Look at the center of that, that's beautiful with the greens. Now, you're not going to get as many cells with this because you're not swiping the activator on. You are blowing it. So you're not going to get quite as many as you would. I'm just going to go the opposite All way right. just a little bit. Right. Well, in my opinion, a bloom shouldn't really have... Too many cells. Yeah, too many cells. It's, it should look more flowery. Ooh, that's really, I love these colors. Yeah. I think it's very, very pretty. And the 
and the light cerulean blue background as this dries will really enhance uh, what's coming out in the pigments you put on in that one gold. Mm -hmm. uh, not much gold came through. There's a little bit of gold See, there. gold really doesn't come and through a lot. It probably shaded some of that yellow. Well, you had a yellow in there, so mm -hmm. um, it was a little interesting that the gold didn't show up so much, but I do like the colors, that's for sure. I think the colors are really pretty. Yes. It's just different. Did you want to... Tip it? No. What do you want me to do? I, I like I like this negative space though. I do too. Because I have negative space all over and I usually don't have a lot of negative space. Ooh. Now you can you can actually wreck this again. That's if kind you of want. what I was thinking. If there's a couple little areas you want to get. Yeah, because I mean you can you can wreck. You're not gonna hurt it. Yeah, what the heck? Let's it's only paint. Into that area there, yeah. And you don't have to spin it. Well oh that's true too. You can get some nice little wreck lines in there. and I kind of like that idea too because I don't really think it needs to be spun much no. at all anymore. It's... it's really pretty. Mm -hmm. It's just very different. Yes. What about just down this way? Which way? Well, there's Here? not much right in that yeah, area. Yeah, okay. There we go. Yeah. Ah, I think that's... I love that. I do too. It's very yeah. different. It, it's... Uh, and what I did with this, actually, I did touch the canvas with my skewer because I wanted to bring up some of that uh, cerulean blue into, into this. As you can see, it came up as I wrecked it. Yes, you can see the blue in the wrecking lines very nicely. Now in my drizzle, I do not try to touch the canvas. But in this, you can bring up your colored base into your bloom. I love this. I think it turned out really good. I do too. Um, leave me a comment if you like it. Please share it. Um, please subscribe to our channel. We'd love to have you join our family. If you are a subscriber, we love all of you. Um, we just, you never know what we're going to do. And please go to my Etsy shop. Uh, actually, Phil is uh, loading new things on there today. He's going to take pictures of new coasters that were made. Um, Some new the paintings? Tr trinket boxes. Oh, He's yeah. taking pictures of that. That's right. There's new paintings that are going on. And, um, so take a look at that later on. He's got a busy day because he's got to upload this video. He's got all that those pictures take. So that'll keep him out of my I, hair for a while. The family's still here, so we're going to go swimming in 117 degrees. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> no, I am not going swimming no. in 117, but everybody else is. So I'm going to be nice and cool in the house making paints. So anyways, um, leave me a comment if I can help you in any way. I'm here to answer your questions. Um, you know me. I will get back to you. So until the next time, I hope you have a wonderful day. Stay safe. Wear your masks when you are out. And um, I'll talk to you all later. Bye. We'll take one last look at this. This is the first in our series of the Bloom Wreck and Spin with Colored Base. And this was a Cerulean Blue Colored Base. So. And look at my shirt. Well... Yeah. <laughs> Another you're, one you're bites back to the, the dust. Old Kathy. <laughs> Another yeah. one bites the dust. Very good. Okay. Well, until I tell later, everybody. Bye. Roger out. <laughs>